Hi, Christopher Sinet here with Foresight Property Inspections. I'll show you a few things on the exterior of a home that can make a big impact. One, termite conducive conditions. Two, water damage that can lead to mold and also uh, deterioration of your finished materials as well as your framing. And one of those things is irrigation. Um, a lot of people love to have their plants up close to the home, plant trees close to the home because they're looking for shade. Um, they want as much grass as they can get. And uh, a lot of times the things that they don't understand is the problems that come along with these, uh, uh, these lovely perks, these wonderful plants and stuff that do, that do give us that shade and that, that, that sweet eye appeal. Um, and, and unfortunately, even a lot of landscapers Aren't, aren't really educating people on these situations. But in this case here, we have an older home. We can see we have a, uh, a planter that's kind of been set up against the home. And the problem with these planters, now in a termite report, I have to bet these as faulty grade, but they're conducive conditions to termites. Reason being one, they can hold water, hold moisture up against the foundation, which can also create spalling and deterioration of your foundation. And as we can see on, in this case that we've had sprinkler contact to the home for a significant amount of time. So we can see that the sprinklers are starting to cause cracking, peeling of the stucco. We, the stucco, it even, you, you can feel it's even delaminating from the wall, whereas up here, it's, it's solid. But here we are, we're getting that give, so things are coming apart. And right up in here, there is a decent sized crack which can allow water. So this has been creating over time and as we can see, you know, it's a pretty significant crack that's getting in there. Um, and, and, and the area is coming loose. This is going to eventually create water damage on the interior of the home. And uh, this, so this is something that you're gonna to wanna to have corrected as soon as possible. Um, you know, you may even um, have to reorganize the sprinklers in this area or adjust them so they're not hitting the home um, and creating this issue. If you want to come around the side here, we can also see along the corner, we're starting to get cracking where that loose um, stucco is starting to delaminate down here. Um, we're starting to get a lot of cracking and the metal is starting to rust. The metal lathe that they use to hold the stucco in place is starting to rust. And what can happen is, is when metal rusts, it expands. And when it expands, it pushes on the components in which it's uh, uh, designed to strengthen it's actually now weakening these areas and we can see the heavy rust our uh, lathing is starting to rust away and deteriorate as well here so we want to keep our plants our grass it's a good idea to keep these things about two to three feet away from your home's foundation and you want to have proper slope proper slope typically there always are some limits you don't always have the space but proper slope would be roughly one inch per foot up to about six feet but in these areas where you have three feet if you even have that three inches of slope there to get that that's going to help keep water away from your foundation as we come along the side here we actually see we have the grass abutting the home and along with all this moisture again we're starting to see rusting of our weep screed that's uh, supporting the stucco and allowing water to drain and as we come down here we're actually starting to see a crack in the foundation and, and, and it's pushing off. Now, we can't see what's going on here exactly, but with all the moisture, if there is a small crack and water's been getting in there, it can cause the rebar to rust. And again, like the metal uh, on the lathe, it's gonna expand and it can push these areas of concrete out and away from the wall. So you could end, end up losing a, a chunk of concrete in that area because your rebar can actually cause that to uh, push that apart. So again, keeping that, that grass and, and vegetation and the irrigation off that home is really gonna help. You can also see that the slope kind of slopes towards the home. As an inspector, we're gonna say this, but uh, as, as a, uh, a licensed termite uh, uh, inspector, WDO, wood destroying insects, um, this is something that's gonna be called out as faulty grade as well and termite conducive conditions. Um, so slope away from the foundation getting the water away from the foundation to prevent that spalling and as you can see in some areas we're starting to see spalling this is spalling 
is when your concrete is starting to deteriorate. You start, you know, in some cases, I've seen it so bad that you just rub it across, uh, you rub your hand across it and just powder of concrete just falls off. But we start to see spalling, and this is gonna be due to the excessive moisture. So, slope, keeping vegetation off your home are gonna be two of the most important things along with making sure that that irrigation and those sprinkler systems are not hitting the home. We wanna keep the exterior healthy. The inside of the home can only be as healthy as the exterior envelope. So taking care of that exterior envelope is very important. Thank you.